Staying in that vein, the biggest um, criticism I would argue that we get and is predominantly related to Conlock, which is the mm. fast fix yeah. steel conduit system, is you're removing the skill from the job. Now I appreciate that mm. because with Conlock you don't have to um, you don't have to thread your conduit tube yeah. and you've got your ribbon deep. Skill? You're still having to bend your pipe. Yeah. Do you know which is where I would say the skill is in conduit work. It all comes down to bending. That's how you make a job look you know look really good. Yeah. But. The conlock, yeah, you because a lot of companies, particularly bigger companies, they still thread manually with stock and dies. Yeah, you know, even though they've got all these great threaders out there, which save so much time, ridiculous amounts of time. I've literally, so I bought a threader for a job, and we saved weeks and weeks of time. But so again, but your conlock product sort of accommodates that, removes that need for that. Alan Key grub screw, I think, it's, yeah, a little you know, grub just screw. to yep. you know, Nip to, it so up. Get, maintain your earth continuity still. Yeah. So I would I would disagree that it's removing the skill because I don't think the threading is any <laughs> any part skilled part of that. Okay. Um, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And then, yeah. So yeah, but I I know what people I know why people say things like that though, particularly with like going back to roller tray again. It's they, but we talked about this before. Now, so we were saying it removes the skill of. Uh, manufacturing bends and things mm. but what you're finding now is a lot of commercial projects they actually specify you have to use prefabricated bends so it's happening anyway yeah you, you know so it just looks more traditional it, yeah it does look more traditional yeah. yeah so again it just comes down to people being a bit set in their ways and we need to get them out and yeah <laughs> well on the same on the same criticism of um you know removing the skill from the job um another Another uh, response that I would I would argue as well is there's a there's a massive uh, labour issue within yeah. the industry at the moment. Yeah. I don't know how that is for you presently. Uh, at, at the moment, okay, actually, because a lot okay. I found quite a few. If they've been talking about it a while. There's going to be a bit of a lull. We, we've had this boom for the last three years. Now, yeah, thank you, COVID. <laughs> yeah. and it is starting to slow down. I've yeah. noticed it. I've I've certainly had fewer inquiries. They're different inquiries, but we've had fewer. Um, and I've recently had two two electricians come to me saying I've got no work, which is great. I've got plenty on, so I'm happy to take people on whenever. Right. Um, but yeah, labour shortage. They, you know, they're always talking about, particularly with colleges, there are fewer people coming in yeah. to the industry. Um, which is yeah, you know, and I know it's even from. So I've been doing it 14 years, and when I was at college, we had a small class compared to what they had been previously. So there was only seven of us that started, I think. Right. And only three of us actually qualified. Wow. So, you know, if you're looking at that, but nationwide, yeah. those figures are so small. Absolutely. And yeah, yeah, but so I think, well, what was your question again? Well, it, it, it's <laughs> <laughs> just on the, um, on, on the labor, because people say, you know, you oh, look, yeah. the skill from the job and okay, yeah. but when you've got a, a labor shortage, which is what we're being told, yeah. and you can save, stick, just stick with Conlock, you've yeah. got 75% labor saving. Yeah. And then you see a stat like this, which I've pulled from the, yeah. the Office of National Statistics, <laughs> was uh, that the industry has lost more than one third of EU born workers since 2017. Yeah. And there's an industry training board that estimates that to meet 2027's demand, yeah. we'll need an extra 225,000 workers. That's mad. Because I think in the UK currently, I had a look at this before I came up here, there's something like 230,000 employed electricians in the UK and about 350,000 in all sectors. Yeah. So like you said, if we need to increase by the, you know X amount to be able to accommodate for it, but if we're using innovative products like Conlock or yeah. Roldray, you're actually almost, not completely, you know, removing the need for that extra labor, but you're certainly reducing it because of the exactly. time saving, so. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so we're trying to keep the, the wheels in the wheels in motion. Yeah. Um, and, and answer another challenge, which I don't know how much better that's going to get. Yeah, yeah. Or worse. Yeah. I really don't know. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, really interesting.